Next, we're going to think about variance. And we've already spent some time defining variance, but let's do it again so that we can talk about its properties. In order to come up with the variance of a population, we take each value in the population, each person's income, and subtract the expected value of income. How far is the first person's income from the mean? How far is the second person's income from the mean? How far is the nth person's income from the mean? Before we add these quantities up, we're going to square them so that they don't cancel each other out, so that we don't get zero. And the definition of the population variance is the sum of these square differences divided by the population size. The Greek letter we use to denote this quantity variance is sigma squared. And we can also use this operator variance of x. It means the same thing. What if the quantity that we're interested in is not x itself, but rather a times x? So I want to know not only what the variability is, the variance across the population in terms of people's income, but if we think of people's income over two years, what's the variability in that? In other words, I'm interested in the variance of the quantity 2 times x. So I'm going to plug in 2x everywhere I had an x above. Now I've got 2 times the first person's income minus 2 times the mean of all the incomes. 2 times the second person's income minus 2 times the mean of all the incomes. 2 times the last person's income minus 2 times the mean of all the incomes. I'm going to add up the squared values of all these differences and divide by how many there are. What's going to happen to those 2's? Let me factor out the 2, right? I'm going to factor out the 2 right here. What happens to the 2 when I factor it out? It gets squared. This is equal to 4 times x1 minus mu squared plus 4 times x2 minus mu squared, plus 4 times the value of the last person's income minus mu squared over n. In other words, this is equal to 4 times the original variance of x. Because the quantity variance is on a squared scale, because the quantity variance is about how far a value is from its mean squared, if we multiply all the values in the population by some number, we'll have also multiplied the mean of those values by that same number, by that linearity property of expectation. And so therefore, we'll have multiplied the variance by that constant squared. I want to make sure it's completely clear why I put the 2 here. Where did that come from? Remember that this mu right here, this mu right there, is just the expectation of x. So if I take the expected value of 2 times x by the property we just talked about, that's equal to 2 times mu, which is what we have right there. So the definition of variance is how far a value is from the mean of that value. If we double all the values, then we also have to double the mean. So this is a property of variance, that if you multiply the random variable by a constant, then you have to square that constant. Um, when it comes out of the variance operator.